This is an example of a peak model where a carbon on S peak has been partitioned into signal associated with carbon bonded to nitrogen and carbon bonded to hydrogen and we will now show how to display the peak model so that these groupings are much clearer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is select on the color property page the color components using component index and when I do that I get the components colored no longer by the order of the components listed on the components property page A, B, C, etc. I now have the color coding according to this component index so it goes 0 and if I click on this one you can see this is the 0 peak and then I've got one that's assigned 3 and the color that appears here is associated with a table on the color property page for the synthetic components so that goes 0, 1, 2, 3 and hence we see the color, this mauve color being used to draw this carbon bonded to nitrogen peak and similarly the zero one was used to draw this first one. So now we have a, a clear vision of these different component peaks associated with nitrogen and we've got a combination of three or actually four peaks for this uh, CH type bonding and we can see this again or we can represent this by combining the component index so having selected that display option we can now see that all of these CH peaks contribute to give it a, a line shape which can be associated with carbon bonded, bonded to hydrogen and still we can have the breakdown of the nitrogen peaks and we can see further that this makes sense by doing a calculation of how these this molecule should be broken down in terms of these different bond states and I've got a calculation based on the, the formula for the this molecule where I have an expected ratio or percentage and I have the calculated based on the peak model when I press the area report I now have a peak model which is giving me 50 percent nitrogen bonded to carbon and 50% carbon bonded to hydrogen and the expected is 50-50 so the peak model appears to work very well for this, these data and in fact the same peak model applied to a range of similar molecules related molecules and I do the same calculation we can then see that over the a range of different numbers of the CH type peaks uh, CH type bonds we get the ratios and we can compare them to the expected ratios and for the most part they're doing really quite well.